Uh oh, here comes a G pawn, Danny. The Black King, mm -hmm. unless he gets mated, yeah, now it's just gonna walk up the board. Not yet. Well, you can't play. Yeah, you can't play King of Six right away. But I thought he would just play. No, okay, G5 would have failed because of that idea of, of the H file. So this is the correct approach, and you now can play King H6 because there's no longer a skewer. Oh, make it look easy. Um, wow. I have very few words, and you know, Magnus has done this against many other prodigies. I remember his game against Kukesh. He won that game, uh, sort of did it in a similar fashion, just getting into an end game and then winning from there. And here, Black is already up one pawn. It looks like a second is dropping. The Black King is helping to escort this pawn to the other side. And Magnus he still isn't playing like bullet at the moment. He's taking his time and he just wants to wrap this up in convincing fashion. Yeah, that was a uh, an interesting move there. It both prevented C4 from margin and got the rooks connected, so maybe now the G pawn can push more aggressively. And this rook yeah. on C5 stuck. It's protecting C4 yeah. and E5, and this is the only square it can do that. For. Yeah, well coordinated. Arjun under five seconds, facing a potential three game deficit in the match, which, if you're just tuning in, would be the biggest lead of the day for Magnus Carlsen, and it is so.